quick tip just to show you the uh, FPV coaxials. This is the standard coaxial you get on eBay. It's not very good. It's very thin. There's very little shielding. This is a 5.8 gigahertz, 200 milliwatt transmitter. If you get this cable, it's called a KSR-195. You have very, very thick insulation, like a cable on your TV, and you can bend it. And like I said, with the uh, shrink wrap tubing, you could actually hold it in place. But this is what I'm putting on the camera rig for the HB8. And, and we'll have the antenna off to the back there like that. So but you could also put it straight up. If you had a straight lead on your antenna itself, you could put it straight up in the air and have ex excellent reception uh, far above everything. If you weren't flying under things, you would have excellent reception from that height and uh, clear of all your other interference. So that's uh, the KSR-195 cable. I wanted to show you that because it's pretty good quality. They're about four or five bucks each. And you can buy this, and then you can cut it in half, make an antenna, and uh, use the other for a transmitter if you want to. Uh, put a heavier duty transmitter cable on. And this is how I'm folding the HB right now for backpack, because the width is the same as the backpack. I also am adding these to test. And for the owners out there, I'm going to send you some of these to test as well. That's the thing with the uh, Hoverbot system stuff. You get to upgrade and take part, if you want, in the uh, bettering of the actual device. So we're going to uh, include those. And they're uh, three, uh, I guess they're a 3 16th O-ring, basically. But they isolate a lot of vibration. And they also add a little bit of support uh, to that end. As you can see, they are a bit compressed. So that's today's quick update. And like I said, the KSR-195 cable is what you want. I'm not sure what lengths you can get it in, but you should be able to get it in all kinds of lengths. And it's very, very durable. We'll stand up to crashes, and we'll also relocate your antenna very well if you have a, a long body or a, a podcopter that is a bit of a challenge.